Today, we're tackling one of the biggest issues in mycology, sustainability. Let's get into it. Polypropylene bags are everywhere in mycology. They're cheap, effective, easy to use, but mushrooms are bioremediators, nature's cleanup crew. They absorb contaminants and heavy metals from their environment and concentrate that into the fruiting body. And that's where these silicone eating bags come in. They're heat resistant, reusable, and most importantly, chemically inert. This means no chemical leaching. So to make these silicone bags a viable option for mushroom cultivation, we have to make a few modifications or put some thought into how we're going to use them. First, I cut some holes in these bags to add in these rubber grommets. The reason one for having these is the fact that they fit my injection ports very conveniently. Getting back to our issue of side pinners, we can pull that injection port out and I'm hoping that that port will conveniently work for mushrooms to fruit from. I'm hoping that we can rotate the block inside of this bag afterwards to introduce a new area of mycelium to fresh air as some mushrooms don't like fruiting over their skin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and load a few of these bags up. Let's go ahead and prep an all-in-one bag. I'm probably gonna fill this up just right underneath the injection port with some hardwood substrate. We've got a full with uh, probably at least two pounds of hardwood in there. I'm gonna leave that grain just on that top layer and not mix anything around. Injection port, filter patch. I think this is ready to go be uh, pressure cooked. Beautiful. Let's go through this in the uh, Instant Pot with the other one. And there we go, it's the next day. I ended up upping the pressure cooker time to about an hour 45, I think, for the two of them. None of the kernels popped and everything still looks nice and hydrated in there. So we're gonna go ahead and inoculate them. And we're going to go ahead and inoculate each of them with about uh, two and a half, three cc's. All right, we did our lines main to just the straight hardwood. We're gonna do our golden oyster to this all in one. About three cc's. And now with both of these inoculated, we can go ahead and move them to an incubation chamber. We'll go ahead and continue to experiment with these and refine the process to really make these a good solution to avoid using plastic in our grows. And more than just mushroom cultivation, keep sustainability in mind for all aspects of your life. Thanks for watching Fungophiles. See you in the next one.